You're the Inquisitor. You're very short. Mother didn't say you were a dwarf. You caught me, and I was trying so hard to be taller. But you can't be taller, not without the Titans. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on her hand, Mother? I did see. Tis time to return to your studies, little man. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> My son. Never where you expect him to be, naturally. I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains to not let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy but seldom troublesome. Will his father be joining us as well? It would be most unlikely. His father helped raise Kieran for a time, but events have conspired to take him elsewhere. So tis but the two of us, Inquisitor. Your fortress is a large place and you will scarce notice our presence. He seems like a fine young man. But not the sort one might expect a woman like me to raise. No son of mine would be raised in a marsh, bereft of contact with the outside world. His future will be difficult enough without my adding to his burden. You were in Ferelden during the Blight? The Blight began in the Kukari Wilds, so yes, I experienced it firsthand. Indeed, I fought at the hero of Ferelden's side for a time. He is the reason the Blight was defeated. We became close, closer than I even thought possible. When I left, he pursued me. And after that, I came to Orlais. The last place one would look for me, or such was my hope. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The Ancients were nothing if not resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I had a respite with the man I loved. But only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. So you have saved the Grey Wardens from their own destructive foolishness. It is for the best. For all their eagerness to shed blood for their cause, we will still need them should another blight arise. It is fortunate my Warden was not there, or he would surely have been in the middle of it. Your Warden? You might know him as the Hero of Ferelden. A lofty title, though he wears it well. I didn't see you as the type to settle down, Morrigan. <laughs> Tis not so domestic as you picture. But even so, it has far outstripped my expectations. My love is on a quest to combat the calling. The actual calling that signals the end of a Warden's life. If he is successful, it will mean a long life for him. Perhaps for them all. Once Corypheus has been defeated, I fully intend to join my love once more. Kieran misses him greatly. Seems odd he went on an adventure and you stayed behind. We are neither of us so weak we would die of loneliness. Where he went, Kieran could not follow, and thus I remained behind to look after our son. We will be together again soon enough, and I am glad of it. How can the calling be stopped? Is that actually possible? Grand Enchanter Fiona was once a Grey Warden, but something removed the blight from her blood. Similarly, a warden mage named Avaness performed experiments that prolonged his life to unnatural lengths. So, we know it is possible. Indeed, t'was I who found the lead my love now follows in the Western Lands. Success is not guaranteed, of course, but he has never lacked for determination. Are the two of you happy together? The three of us? 
and it is little business of yours. But yes, I never thought to find someone in this world I could trust as an equal. He has been a good partner and a good father. And now I pray we discuss something else, lest these honeyed words make me vomit. Is there any way the hero of Ferelden could help us against Corypheus? Tis unlikely. Corypheus uses the Blight, but he is not controlled by it like a true Darkspawn. Still, my love has ever been resourceful. I can give the Inquisition a means to send him a message. He will think this means I miss him, of course. Oh, he will be insufferably pleased with himself. I hope you appreciate this sacrifice, Inquisitor. Leliana gave me the note that the hero of Ferelden included for me. She may even have left it sealed. A pity. You would have learned things that could make even an Orlesian blush. Now, was there anything else? I'll leave you to the garden. Of course.